Good morning, it's 7am on the 27th of February. This is the 5-Minute Chelsea Staff Chelsea News with plenty of content. As normal, transfer news, news on possible injury ahead of this weekend and comments on Frank Lampard that's sure to get a reaction. So as usual, this is my website. It's chelseadaft.org. Make sure you check it out, bookmark it. Check it out on a daily basis. There's plenty of content on there featuring every single one of these videos. First up, Joe Cole says Chelsea's Reese James is ready to push Trent Alexander for an England spot after another decent performance against Bayern Munich. And Reese James, you have to say, is up there this season with Matteo Kovacic for me as player of the season. Both have been outstanding, but Reese James has come into the Chelsea side and made that position at his own. And Joe Cole believes he could be pushing Trent Alexander Arnold for an England spot. More on the Bayern Munich game in just a second, but Barkley fails to fire again for Chelsea on a big occasion and may be running out of chances. And this was written pretty much straight after the game finished on Tuesday. The article starts by saying, how many chances does Ross Barkley have left to prove he actually has a future in Frank Lampard's Chelsea? I have to say it's been stop start for Ross Barkley. I think the guy just needs a run of games, consistent games. But at the moment, there are players that are playing better and having more of an influence than he is. So more on the Bayern Munich game and the fallout, um, and this is focusing on Frank Lampard. There was no video from me yesterday. I was out late on the Tuesday. I've only got an hour window every morning to do these videos because I work full time. Missed the opportunity yet, yeah, so I apologise for that. But Frank Lampard told to show loyalty to Chelsea players after Kepa Arisba Laga decision. Now, this guy does my head in. Not Frank Lampard, but former Chelsea star Tony Cascarino. Who, let's face it, has done nothing in the game, really. Done F all. And, but for some reason, he's become a bit of a pundit and a Chelsea expert, which does my head in. And he's been talking about the situation with Frank Lampard and Chelsea after, straight after the Bayern Munich defeat. It doesn't help things. And I wish this guy would just shut up. I don't understand why people are going to Cascarino. What has he achieved? What has he won in football? Nothing. So what's the point of listening to the bloke? He's mentioned before that he's criticised Frank Lampard and Frank Lampard has called him to have words with him about the situation. If I'm being brutally honest, I've always found Frank to be a little bit spiky with some of the things that you say and you can be complimentary, but Frank takes it the wrong way. I'm not convinced by his management at times this year because I do think it's an easy excuse just to go youngster, youngster, but he's changed the team a hell of a lot. I don't like the Kepa issue. He deserved to get dropped, but keeping him out of the team, I'm not so sure that's a good decision. You have to show loyalty to players sometimes, even after a bad game. But it's happened all over the pitch. Everywhere's been changed. Everybody's been changed around. It's really hard to guess Chelsea's 11, and that tells you in some way that Frank is spinning plates around his team. We're giving him the benefit of the doubt because he's new to his role with the Premier League manager, and Chelsea have been in a very difficult situation. But there's a lot of change and no buying power. But what I see, just look at the games they've lost, the amount of games they've lost and the goals against Colum, that tells you a big story. They can't defend very well. I can't see how they can improve unless you buy new players, but you've also got to look at your system. That's comments made by Tony Cascarino, as I say. And what do you think? He's criticising Frank in a big way. And on the flip side, if you watch the match coverage, BT Sport this week, the Chelsea Bayern Munich game, in the build-up, featured an interview. Rio Ferdinand went to Chelsea's training ground and said this, that he was surprised with what Frank Lampard did. This is the opposite. This is a positive. He said, when we played, Lampard would never speak. But I went to the training ground and Frank Lampard, the manager, is the most prominent, loudest voice on the training ground. Barking orders. Authority was there in his voice from the word go. I was so impressed with the way he coached the team. It surprised me. I was really looking forward to see what it's going to be like as a manager, as a coach on the training field, and I've got nothing but positives to say about that experience of seeing that. So to some transfer news and the 7am update from The Sun. Barkley, Jorginho could leave. William contracts talks difficult. More on that in a second. And Oblak, Kepa, swap. And they're promoting the fact that they believe that Kepa, Jorginho and Ross Barkley could all be shipped out by Frank Lampard this summer. Jorginho's agents beginning to talk up a move back to Italy. We know the situation with Kepa being dropped and not getting his place back into the side. And as we've already said, Ross Barkley frustrating at the moment. So they're talking about Jan Oblak, the Atletico Madrid's goalkeeper. Now he's bound to have an expensive release clause, but there is talk that the 27 year old is one of Europe's finest goalkeepers. And it looks as though Chelsea could offer Kepa 
as a swap deal. <clears throat> so concerning news, Tammy Abraham looked as though after the game against Bayern Munich in the post-match warm down, he suffered another injury. As you can see, he's limping off the pitch. Everybody else continues their warm down and he's limping off. I wonder if he'll be available on Saturday. Transfer news now and Marcos, Marcus Alonso's dad hints Chelsea star could return to Italy amid Inter Milan links in the summer. And the situation with William finishes the video today. William, they've offered me two years, but I said I wanted three. And he indicates that at the moment there seems to be an impasse and no, no one's budging. And it could be that William leaves Chelsea this summer. That's it from me. It's Thursday, 27th of February. This is the Chelsea Star 5 Minute Chelsea News. Let me know what you think about anything discussed in the video. And while you're there, smash the hell out the like button for me and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching the video and for your support. And I'll see you all tomorrow.